Welcome to a day in the life with the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. For those of you that have been following the channel for a little while, you know that I generally do one of these videos whenever a brand new device drops, testing the battery life and the camera quality of these devices. Now this episode is a little bit special because we're actually going to be in transit for over 30 hours traveling from Vietnam all the way back home to Toronto, Canada. So I figured what better opportunity to test the battery life and the camera quality of the Pixel 9 Pro XL in an environment where you need it to last for a long period of time and where you can use it as your main camera to take a ton of videos of you traveling. So to start off, let's set some ground rules. We're not going to be charging the Pixel 9 Pro XL at all. I really want to see how far I can push this device and I'm going to try and film as many of the videos in this video with the Pixel 9 Pro XL to really push and test the camera as well. Now I'm really curious to see if the phone is going to last throughout the entire journey or if it's going to die early. Speaking of which, if you've made it this far into the video, then comment below to guess if you think the Pixel 9 Pro XL actually made it all the way to Toronto without dying. And if it did, what percentage of battery do you think was left? Okay, so as you've seen so far, we had to wake up super early at 5 a.m. to catch the first of our three flights to get back home to Toronto from Vietnam. So we checked out of our hotel. Luckily, someone was there to check us out and we called a grab, which is what most people use in Asian countries instead of Uber. Once we arrived at the airport, this is when I really started to push the Pixel 9 Pro through its paces and I switched over from my Canon R5C to the Pixel 9 Pro to record most of my videos. And honestly, I really enjoy shooting on the Pixel 9 Pro XL over the Canon R5C just because how much lighter and more comfortable it was to use. The R5C is obviously a large, heavy, mirrorless camera. Now, all the videos you're gonna see in this video that were shot on the Pixel 9 Pro XL are all going to be shot in 4K at 30 frames per second. And honestly, I was really impressed with the video quality coming out of this phone. Now, at this point in the video, my phone is still at 100% as you saw a little bit earlier. All I've done so far is just really call a grab. But this is where I start to really push it. Not only taking videos, but scrolling through TikTok and Instagram, which is how I burn most of my battery most of the time whenever I'm using my phone. And that's exactly what I did when we were in line. But once we got through security and we were able to check in our bags, we made our way to one of the lounges in the Vietnam International Airport. And this was really our opportunity to recharge, relax a little bit and have some food because we knew it was going to be a really long journey ahead. Also, quick shout out to Nomadic. They're not sponsoring this video or anything. I'm gonna have a video on this backpack in the future. I used this backpack for my entire trip to Bali and Vietnam, and I'm absolutely blown away by how good it is. Now, once we were done relaxing at the lounge, we made it over to our gate to board our first flight with Japan Airlines from Vietnam flying to Tokyo, Japan. Now, this flight was going to be about five hours and my phone was already at 93%. Now, this was a little bit concerning because I was actually hoping to be higher in the 90th percentiles before boarding the flight because of how long the journey was going to be. I had already decided that I was not going to charge this phone at all. Luckily, I knew that the phone was going to be on airplane mode when flying, and that is obviously going to conserve a little bit of battery. I had also downloaded an entire season of Jujutsu Kaisen, an anime that I've never watched before, and I was planning to watch as much of it on this flight as humanly possible. Now, the flight was pretty long and tiring, but luckily my wife had ordered the halal packages for us for food in all of our flights, something that I almost always forget to do. And honestly, it ended up being a great decision. The food was really good. And looking around me, the other options were not really anything we could have eaten. So if my wife hadn't gone ahead and thought to do this, we would have been hungry for a very, very long time. Now, we eventually did make it to Japan and I was pretty impressed with the phone as it was at 74 at this point and I had watched a ton of Jujutsu Kaisen. Now once we got to the Japan airport I tried to film the security belt when you put your stuff in with the Pixel 9 Pro XL but unfortunately the phone got covered up really quick so that was kind of a bummer. Anyways once we got through security we had the opportunity to walk around Narita International Airport. Honestly Japan is one of my favorite countries in the world and I can't wait to be back. It was also pretty cool seeing this ad for the Pixel 9 Pro devices 
while filming with the Pixel 9 Pro. Now, again, this was a super short layover and we were both really hungry. So we ordered a quick snack from a cafe. And just like that, we are right back onto our next flight, flying all the way from Japan to Los Angeles, which was about 10 to 12 hours. On this flight, we did a lot of the same. We slept, we had some more food. Once again, shout out to my wife for picking the halal packages. The food was actually really good. I watched more Jujutsu Kaisen. And after taking a really long nap, I actually woke up and I decided to watch Avengers Endgame because what better to kill three hours than watching an incredibly long movie. I would also look out the plane once in a while and take videos with the Pixel 9 Pro XL whenever I got bored just to keep the phone running and using it for videos when I wasn't watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, after this incredibly long flight and my back and my legs were definitely crying, we finally made it to Los Angeles. Now, upon landing, the first thing I did was check the air tag on my luggage to make sure that it had made it to LA all the way from Vietnam and Japan. And yeah, I was carrying my iPhone, I'm not gonna front, but it was literally only to track my luggage and to make sure that it was with me. Once we had our luggage secured because we had to pick it up in Los Angeles, we once again walked our way through the airport, made our way to the lounge, and at this point, the phone was at 43%. So I knew it was a really good indication that it was definitely gonna make it all the way to Toronto because we had done more than half of our journey already and had about half of my battery left. Once we were done at this airport, we finally hopped on to our final flight, flying from Los Angeles back home to Toronto. Again, this flight was really uneventful. It was about five hours, but I mostly slept at this point because of how exhausted I was. I did once again pop in a few times to watch Jujutsu Kaisen here and there. Now, after 30 hours of traveling, when we finally landed, we grabbed our bags, we got home, and we said hi to our cat, Theo, who we hadn't seen in over two weeks, and he was pretty happy to see us. Now, at this point, if you're wondering what battery level the Pixel 9 Pro XL finished at, it was at 29%. Now next to it, I have my iPhone, which hilariously I didn't use at all other than to track the AirTag. And this phone is about two years old. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And it was just sitting on airplane mode in my pocket the whole time. And over the 30 hours, it drained to about 3% doing absolutely nothing while the Pixel 9 Pro XL was abused and it ended up at 29%. So hopefully this gives Gives you a pretty good idea of what the Pixel 9 Pro XL is capable of in terms of its camera quality by all the videos that you've seen in this video and I think the battery life is absolutely phenomenal and could even run you maybe two full days if you were a lighter user. Anyways that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you in the next one and until then keep creating.